Hello, everyone. I'm Marina, and it's a Grammar School. Please welcome our new pedicure segment. Finally, on my channel, you will find pedicure videos explaining everything from A to Z. So make sure to subscribe so as not to miss out on them. So here are today's toenails. These are pretty long because the model has been wearing them for about one and a half to two months. So we will make them shorter. Overall, the foot condition is fine, but there are a few cracks that need polishing. First, we spray the feet with antiseptic and wipe off its leftovers, and proceed with the removal. In a pedicure, we always process the toenails before putting the feet in a bath to prevent soaking. So we need to remove the coating, cut down the length, and then process the feet. We'll be using this green cone-shaped drill bit. There is an exhaust fan built in. The speed is 35,000 RPM. Today's nail tech is our podologist Olga. And she is left-handed and removes the coating this way, in the reverse position. If you are right-handed, then mirror this moves in the forward position. Remove the coating using the drill bit surface. Get into the fridge, place the drill bit perpendicular to it, and make smoothing moves to clean it up. Remove all the liftings if there's any, and make sure that the surface is even. And the drill bit doesn't get deeper than the coating. Move perpendicularly on smaller toenails, because moving up and down there is not convenient. Make sure to lean on with the pinky finger of your active hand holding the e-file to avoid cuts. We'll be using this pedicure nippers to cut the nails. Place them perpendicular to the nail and cut it down straight. Go step by step without getting on the center of the nail plate. Keep toenails short, leaving about half a millimeter left. Now we file the lens using a 180-240 grit file. Form a 90-degree angle here and file a straight line. Make sure that the shape is square and not oval, because otherwise toenails may start growing in. File only the free edge part and keep the sidewalls. All these common filing mistakes may cause pain and discomfort, resulting in ingrown toenails and so on. Next up, we'll lift up the cuticle with a pusher. Form a 30-degree angle here and gently push it. Don't get too deep, though, so as not to damage the proximal nail fold. This way, it's easier to process it. Now let's buff the surface with a hard buffer to clean up the leftover pterygium and gel polish till the surface is matte. Avoid leaving glossy areas to prevent further peeling. Now fill in the bath with warm water. About 40 to 42 degrees Celsius would be the most comfortable. Then add some soap. We're using the one for feet soaking and softening. Wait 5 minutes till the skin gets softer, then take the foot out, wipe off excess water, and use some softening foot spray for even better results. Keep it on for 1 minute. We'll be using this metallic file by Foot Logics. 
It is reusable and double-sided. Both rough and smooth. First, we'll use this bumpy rough side and then the polishing one. Make gentle circular moves. Don't press too hard. If the foot gets dry in the process, add some more spray or water. Keep filing till the skin is soft. Tap on it to check its elasticity. Process the heel part as well. Now spray more liquid and using the soft side of the file, make gentle moves, barely touching the skin and polish the wet foot. Make sure to keep it wet and gently rub the softener in. Again, check its softness. Done with the foot, now moving on to the cuticle. We will need some cuticle softener and as for the tools, we will need nippers, a pusher, and this tool called curette, with spoons on its ends. It is widely used in a pedicure. First, we push the pterygium and then clean it up with the cutter. Make short forward in strokes for a perfect result. Now get the curette under the nail and clean up all the skin leftovers, as well as inside calluses, moving upward. Same on the other side. We can turn the curette to clean up the side sinus as well. Now wipe off remover leftovers. And here is a callus that has formed under the nail. And we need to remove it. We will cut the cuticle with nippers. Starting off with the lateral folds, using the blade surface. Remove the skin with such gentle downward strokes. Moving on to the cuticle. The lower blade lies on the nail plate and the upper one does the cut. Make sure 2 mm strokes going along the cuticle line. This translucent yellowish skin is the cuticle. And there is a proximal nail fold. So we go along this line. Watch the client's reaction in the process to avoid cuts. Cut off the main part first, then apply some more remover and clean up all the dust leftovers with a pusher. Remove all the leftover skin with a curette. Now wipe it off and check the results. A drastic change already. Now put some water on it and using the soft side of the buffer, polish all the tiny hangnails. So at this point we polish the skin. Go in both directions along the nail folds. Now it's all clean, there is no excess length and the cuticle looks clean and polished. That's it for a classic pedicure, which is a hygienic foot procedure. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I wish you all success in your work. Good luck. Bye-bye.